Assalamu alaikum everyone, it's Sayyid Ali Zadi once again here with a new review video of the Samsung Galaxy A10 2019 edition. So this phone has been used for one week uh, by me and uh, I'm going to give you the feedback that how this phone performs and what are the bells and whistles and cutting uh, edge technology. So this is a mid-range phone from the Samsung company and so let's quickly unbox it so here you can see that the phone is unboxed so here is the box and uh, behind it is this uh, specifications about the phone so let's put it aside here is a quick start guide and uh, a warranty card for one year or a contract card so here's the box which is empty and it has nothing so let's put it aside as well here is the actual phone and a headphone jack um, it is a 3.5 mm headphone jack from Samsung and this phone has a Dolby Atmos sound uh, so when you plug in the headphone it helps you a lot uh, which I'm going to demonstrate uh, in a moment this is the headphone this is the power brick uh, which is uh, about uh, uh, 10 watts or 5 watts I think it's 10 watt because the phone charges really quickly within one hour and it lasts very long so this is the power brick and uh, here is a USB type A to USB 2.0 cable um, so a big complaint about this is uh, it is not USB type C as you can see in the new phone which are coming so they ha are having the universal connector which is usb type c so it's convertible but it is not you can plug it only one side and uh, it does not have a lot of speed transmission as well so let's put it aside and uh, let's look at the actual phone so I did some modification when I opened the phone for the first time and I have been using this so here you can see that it is the home screen now design wise this phone is I think 7.9 mm uh, thick and it's too not thick um, I put a protector or a transparent cover to save the beautiful blue sheen of this uh, back uh, it is also made up of plastic so it's not metal the camera is 13 megapixel with autofocus f2.2 aperture and a very bright LED flash and here we have the speaker grill um, okay here here we have the speaker grill and the sound is a little bit muffled but uh, when you uh, turn the volume up to medium or uh, up to minimum so it has quite a bass but if you turn the volume too much high uh, the sound gets muffled and it just doesn't sound so good let's to take a look at the front side so the front side is 6.2 inch LCD IPS display at the ratio of 18.9 so nowadays these phones are at, at this aspect ratio of 18.9 and let's uh, take a look at the bottom uh, here we have the 3.5 mm headphone jack the charging port uh, and uh, a little microphone for voice recording on the right side we have the power button to turn off and on the phone and above that we have a volume rocker and uh, here we came on the top uh, where we also have a microphone and on the left side we have just a big sim slot uh, like uh, having two uh, sims one is uh, a mono sim and the other one is a dual setup which is micro SD card plus SIM slot so you can put both of them at the same time so this phone is dual SIM and it is PTA approved 
I put a, fr a front screen protector on it to save it uh, from scratching because the front glasses, uh, not uh, Gorilla Glass 3 or 4 or 5, I don't know which glass is made above, but I thought that I need to save my phone and I should need to use it as uh, carefully as possible, so I'm quite careful when I'm using my products. Um, okay. Let's talk about the front camera. It is 5 megapixel camera and let me just zoom in. So here you can see that it is a notch type camera. Here we have a teardrop notch. Uh, when I'm going to open an application, you will be able to see it more clearly. So let's uh, open uh, the phone and unlock it. And I'm going to do the all processes and connect it to my network. And after that, I'm going to show it to you. So uh, I'm going to uh, connect and uh, set up the phone and after that I am going to come back. So here we go guys. The phone is now connected to my Wi-Fi network and I have uh, signed in my Gmail account uh, because this is my primary device that I'm using. So let's take a look at the specifications of this phone. It has a 6.2 inch LCD IPS display at the resolution of 720p and let's uh, take a look at the processor which is Exynos 7884 octa-core processor and having 3 GB of RAM for backup and the internal storage is 32 GB or gigabyte. Um, the front camera is 5 megapixel and the rear camera is 13 megapixel having a headphone jack and a 3500 mAh battery lithium ion but it has a fast charging capability which charges the phone within one hour and uh, it's pretty good now let's take a look at the software so it is uh, uh, right now on Android P Pi um, fully updated and I removed a lot of applications that I don't use for example Google Music Service Google Maps and a lot of applications that are none of my business so I disabled them by default and uninstalled a lot of the applications there are not blockwares just like other phones but they uh, one UI of Samsung is really clean and it's quite intuitive for me to use this phone so here we go we have uh, some uh, applications pre-installed and some of them that i installed so i installed facebook whatsapp and lexus audio editor for my audio editing and youtube so basically i use this phone for media and watching youtube because i watch a lot of dramas and movies uh, so i'm not a heavy user and i don't like to play games on this phone uh, so let's uh, look at the settings uh, this is the home screen. Uh, let's take a look at the home screen menu first. This is the home screen and I, cho I have chosen this beautiful wallpaper. Let me crank down the brightness a little bit. So one feature that I love about this one is magnification gesture, which I can use very uh, easily to use my phone because I am as you know visually impaired and I have low vision so it helps me a lot to use this phone and read small texts so here we go we press and hold so we uh, there we have uh, the wallpaper okay wallpaper themes and widgets and home screen settings so we can manage the home screen settings and change the wallpaper change the look of the phone and aesthetics uh, here uh, but uh, let's uh, leave it for a site and let's go on the app draw so we have the setting to uh, have an app draw or just uh, entirely turn it off in the settings but i like to have the app draw so now let me just uh, crank up the brightness a little bit more because it's hard for me to see okay uh, here is the notification panel we have turned on the wi-fi and the uh, sound settings and if we just swipe down again we have more toggles to on and off so here we have power saving mode which i have turned on and it just significantly improves the battery life so this phone lasts me about two days and uh, i have charged it last night and it is having a very long uh, battery life so if we slide from right to left uh, here we have more settings and toggles and here we have shortcuts for more uh, actions now 
Let's take a look uh, on the settings panel. Uh, here we can go here from directly to the settings. And also if we swipe up from the middle, we go to home. And if you swipe up from the left side, so here we have gesture controls rather than having a navigation uh, keys here. So if you slide it up, we just dismiss the recent apps. Uh, now we can go also from uh, to the settings from here. So here we have open settings and uh, I have signed into my Samsung and Gmail account here. So here we have the connections. Um, okay, connections, sound and uh, uh, vibration notifications display uh, wallpapers lock screen and um, okay Google advanced features uh, digital uh, digital well-being device care um, apps general management accessibility so there are the settings I love the Android phones because of one feature which is magnification gesture. I love the iPhone and uh, iOS but they do not have this feature which you can just use with one finger and zoom in the screen. You have to use your four fingers and you know iPhone screens are uh, uh, really small uh, when I was using them before. So I uh, use these phones. Okay. now. The features that I mentioned is good, but you know, at this price, there are a lot of phones which are having built-in in-screen fingerprint scanner or the backside has a fingerprint scanner or some of the phones have a fingerprint on the side. And, uh, so now let's take a look on the sound and I have opened my YouTube app and I have turned it uh, on night mode or dark mode, which I truly love. Now I'm going to play a video from my liked list here which is an Arabian music that I really love so let's demonstrate the voice quality So guys, uh, this volume was on the maximum, uh, as you can see here, the volume is totally on 100% and the voice is not as clear as I was expecting it. So as you can see that uh, the volume is good enough, but it does not have the punch and the bass that we need. Um, now let's take a look at a random video and let's uh, show you that uh, how the notch appears and uh, for example the ad of uh, Facebook light here here we go now let me turn it to a full screen just like this and uh, sometimes it just uh, has some hiccups so if we zoom in we can see the notch here but this video is not on the ratio of 18.9 so that is why the notch does not appear and we have black bars in the sides so uh, the bar kind of hides itself now i have demonstrated the sound quality the um, camera quality is also being here because it is being filmed with this mo uh, with the camera quality or video quality that you are right now looking at is the video that has been recorded with this phone um, and I, uh, I ordered another phone uh, the same and the blue color uh, which is Galaxy 8 and I recorded the video with that and I just used the other phone for the demonstration purpose so the video is 10 NTP at 30 frames per second and a little bit of editing uh, yes I did that but I did not use any color color correction or anything else so it's just this video with some cuts and jumps um, so this phone is quite good and it cost me about 23,000 and uh, 200 rupees for the clear color case and 150 uh, rupees PKR uh, for this uh, glass protector that I'm using on front so the phone is good and now let's take a look on the headphone that I uh, told you that I'm going to show you 
So here we can see that this is the head foil and it is really standard and uh, really uh, good quality but uh, I like to have in-ear style headphones so this kind of hurts my ear when I put it on so I don't really use this type of headphones more, more often. So guys this is the end of the video and uh, consider to uh, subscribe to my channel and press the bell uh, icon to be uh, notified of new videos each time and also like this video and also like my friend's channel which is uh, random words and i'm going to give you a video link here of his channel he has began a new channel and also the videos are really funny and really entertaining so make sure to subscribe to his channel and like his video and support me and him on youtube channel so remember me in your prayers and allah hafiz